Today on Political Theory, I'm going to engage in some more Corona Chan thoughts. And that's mainly, fuck the economy. That's right, I said fuck the economy. And why do I say that? It seems that there are a number of supposed socialists who, you know, see our conspiracy theorists and see the disease as nothing but a, but a plot by capitalists. And they are actually joined by a bunch of libertarians who were worried about their stock portfolios trying to rush the country back to normal. Well, this is not a normal situation. We have a deadly virus that is spreading in an exponential fashion. People are dying like less than every 15 minutes in New York City now. And it will kill primarily, you know, elderly people and immune compromised people. You do not get to genocide the elderly and immune compromised people because of your fucking economy. You know what? People have coped before with the shutdown of the civilian economy to just necessities. During World War II, it was far worse than this. There was rationing for gas. There was rationing for food. And people survived. They grew their own gardens. They raised chickens. They had off-the-grid sources of water like wells and rainwater catchment. And you know what? That wouldn't be so bad. Apparently now, just even with a couple of weeks of this happening, the, the canals of Venice are clearing up. Fish are returning. Waterfowl are returning. The smog and CO2, you know, are, are, are blowing away from uh, large cities. And this is fantastic. This is what, you know, the climate extinction people and the Greta Thun Thunbergs claim to want. Well, let's do this. Let's flatten the curve no matter what it takes. And if that means that you need a garden and you need to go without your stupid foodie food and your vaping and your clubs and your cafes, so be it. Those are not necessities compared to human life. I think this would be good for people. I think it's going to like clarify people's minds about what is important, what is essential services. Yes, of course, we're still going to need some level of groceries and obviously medical service. And, you know, it would be nice to have some form of motorized transport to, you know, uh, move around occasionally. But a lot of the so-called economy is harmful. It is cheap Chinese crap that not only is environmentally harmful, it's made under working conditions that are appalling. They're close to slavery. Some of these Chinese factories have nets by the side of them. So fuck the economy. You know, back in my lefty days, I used to consider myself an earth-first activist. I did environmental activism in Northern California to save the redwood trees. And I even had some uh, sympathy for the Earth Liberation Front and the Deep Green Movement. Now, most of my politics have moved more to the right in an individualist direction as opposition to wokeness and speech censorship, you know, has become more important to me. But I still hold a lot of those values to be valuable. And you can be a right-wing radical environmentalist. There is a thinker called Link Ola. L-I-N-K-O-L-A. I suggest looking up his work at this point. You know, I think he was pretty prescient. The long supply chain certainly need to end. And I think while we're shortening the supply chains, moving back to more local and smaller businesses, that we should consider what it is we really need in our lives, you know? Do you really need, you know, the latest Chinese gadget, you know, that is a fan and a pin and a microwave? I doubt it. I doubt it's very necessary to your survival. Do you need to, like, 
literally change your clothing style every year based on some like Madison Avenue bullshit advertising? No. And there's a lot of blame to go around here. Trump is, you know, I've actually not had Trump derangement syndrome for the majority of his presidency. I've seen him as being, okay, president, not that great, not that bad, pretty average. But this idea of returning to normal by Easter is ludicrous. We're at the bottom of an exponential curve. And the, a lot of people on this opposed left aren't helping either with their conspiracy theories about my global capital and my global pharmacies that sound not all that different to Alex Jones crap, you know. Vaccines are going to be an essential service, you know. If right-wingers don't want to hear that, too fucking bad. You're going to have to get vaccinated. I don't care if they drag you off and, like, chain you down and vaccinate you. You know, we're going to end this disease. We're not going to sacrifice our elderly people and immune-compromised people and people with, like, lung disease for your goddamn, like, vaping and clubbing and, and Chinese gadgets. No, absolutely not. Fuck your economy. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck the economy. You know, that's really about all I've got to say now. Me, personally, I'll probably make it. I live on an acre of land. I live in the middle of a vast national forest. My county is so sparsely populated that there are literally no traffic lights. There are wild turkeys, rabbits, squirrels, birds of all types. Fish like salmon run in the streams. And, you know, I could boil lake water if I had to to uh, drink and to uh, wash with. So I think I have a pretty good chance of survival. I think I do know what the basics are. I think people who are considering breaking quarantine to satisfy their little desires lack self-discipline. Perhaps this is gonna be a forced zen. America could use a lot of zen at this point. It is a country of excesses and, uh, you know, crassness. I'll, I'll, America has a lack of spiritual refinement. Maybe something that's necessary is reading a book. You know, turn off Netflix and YouTube and social media and read a book. I've been reading Avila, Ride the Tiger. And a lot of what he says makes a lot of sense that modern industrial society is degraded. People lack refinement. People can't tell the difference between beat heavy music and intricate and emotionally as well as compositionally complex Western classical music. I myself have been listening to a lot of counterpuntal choral music like I believe it would be pronounced Palestrina. So that's really it. Fuck your pain. Get back to basics. I do hope that my, you know, watchers remain safe out there. But please consider what I'm saying. No, your vaping and clubbing isn't more important than the lives of old people. Political theory out.